Now first, why is the gradient vector always perpendicular to the contour lines? Let's draw some contour lines first. Imagine a point sliding along that contour. As it moves along the contour, the function value f does not change, by definition of a contour. Watch the point slide slowly along the line. We'll look at a very small movement along the contour. Think infinitely small, just a tiny step. That small movement is tangent to the contour line. We call that tangent small movement vector dr. dr equals dx1, dx2. Now, let's look at the total differential df. The total differential df represents the change in f when both x1 and x2 change simultaneously. But if we're moving along the contour, df equals zero, since f does not change. And by definition, that is the dot product of the gradient and the displacement vector dr. So the equation is zero. Now, what does that mean? Two non-zero vectors giving a dot product of zero, that means they must be perpendicular. If you like the geometric or cosine viewpoint, recall the dot product identity. Norm of grad f times norm of dr times cosine theta. If grad f is not zero and dr is not zero, the only way the product is zero is when cosine theta equals zero. That means theta equals 90 degrees. So grad f is perpendicular to dr. That is, the gradient is perpendicular to the tangent line of the contour.